Hello again. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video and I'm still setting up my shop and getting settled in uh, the south here in South Carolina. Uh, but being close to Christmas time, I thought I'd show you a few carvings that might be fun for you that if you're carvers uh, might give you some ideas on things you want to do. Uh, and, and I want to iterate that I'm not a professional carver. I'm not even a very good carver. But I've dabbled with it. Um, I don't know that I could ever sell anything or make money at it. Maybe if I worked really hard at it I could get there. But it's something I like to to pursue and keep keep playing around with it. Um, I'll show you some Christmas ornaments. I'll get the camera off and show you up close. Um, these are things that I found pretty pretty easy to do as a novice uh, beginning carver and um, these are things I've done in the last uh, five years probably and uh, I took up carving pretty late in my career and uh, I'll show you some ideas here though let me get the camera and, and get up close for you these are various carvings and whittlings and I'm not much of a relief carver, although relief carving arguably might be an easier path for people wanting to get into carving. So this is a flat piece. And these pieces are all painted, but I'll show you some in a minute that are not painted, uh, that are just regular whittlings. So there's, there's an, a relief carving. That might be a way to do it. That was regular scrap pine stock. Um, basswood is nice. Uh, nicer than pine, but uh, these others are, I think, all basswood, but I'm not positive on that. I use whatever I have. Hardwoods are hard, so you want to use something soft. This actually is a piece of poplar, and a lot of carvings start as a two-by-two two square, and off of one of the corners, you're going to use that corner to give you the dimension of a face. So you can get the nose off the corner and off the two sides is how you can begin to shape the cheeks. And um, this isn't certainly not any instruction on how to do carving, but it's just to give you guys that maybe already dabble in it some ideas on uh, very simple ways to get started. These can be done with just a handful of, of simple tools. I use a little flex cut palm tools and if you have a small gouge, a small v-grooving tool and a whittling knife you can probably do about anything you want to do with those three tools. Um, sometimes you have smaller square stock you can go to a leaning type this sits or hooks on a mantle and makes a nice method to hang it off of a mantle or off a shelf or something and it's essentially uh, relief carving but as it turns it begins to get more 3D whittling type carving. Again very easy to do and a good idea. Um, another square cornered piece if you started with a 2x2 two two square block again using a corner to work back from you can get your two face sides out of the corner and uh, this is a very good design and uh, re really not very hard to do and people seem to really like this. I probably, if I made enough of these and worked at it, probably could sell these. I don't know that I'd get my time out of it, but it would certainly offset downtime. Sometimes I'll take a square block and cut it diagonally across the block. So this was a square like this, but I cut it diagonally. And that, that doubles your wood and you can go to an ornament style, again using the corner as the starting point for the nose and then working back off that corner for the cheeks. That, that works well for a human face. Here's another example. If you put a tiny little eyelet in there, that becomes a Christmas tree ornament. Uh, painting is arguably half half of it. You know, if, if you're going to paint your pieces, uh, 
you know, that that's a big component of, of making a nice looking piece. Like I say, these are not very good or even very sophisticated, but they're fun to do. People seem to like them. They genuinely seem to like them and want them. If, I, if they see them, they want me to make them, and, and that's where it's like, well, I don't know if I'd get into that or not. There's all sorts of instruction out there on noses, eyes, the mouth. Have fun with it. Get three simple tools. Get a V-Groover, a small gouge, and a whittling knife. And uh, just have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas.